video number 42 for cello players. In this video, we're going to continue working on bowing and putting fingers down. And we're also going to do the D major scale with our bow now, okay? So let's start with a good amount of echoing. Start with a good posture. Check your bow. Hopefully you guys remember to tighten your bow before you play and loosen your bow every time before you put it away. If you forget to do that, eventually the hairs are going to stretch out and then you won't be able to tighten it. Or you'll tighten it and the stick will be straight. So make sure you loosen it after every single time you play. Every, every time, after, like before, after you finish your practice for the day. Okay, let's start with just a little bit of echoing of just open strings first, but I'm gonna start off with a little bit more complicated ones. Do two Ds, two As, echo me. G, D, A, A, reverse, A, 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 D, D, check your bubble, D, A, D, A. Pressing in hard, make sure you've got a straight line, it's a diagonal line, a straight line from your fingers all the way to your elbow. Don't let your elbow come down here. Don't let it come forward. It should just be a nice, should be up, not down, up, but not too far up. Okay, no tension there, no bend in your wrist. Make sure everything is straight. Two G's, or four G's, four G's. Start with that, F of me. G, 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 G. Now two G's, two F sharps. G, G, F sharp, F sharp. Now do two E's and then two F sharps. E, E, F sharp, F sharp. Now two E's then two G's. Time to check your bowl. Make sure your pinky is flat against the frog and it's not collapsing. Make sure your first finger is not hooked over. It's going to be on that on the side, but on that middle joint. Don't let it come past that middle knuckle. Go to the A string. Remember the A string. We're going to use a little bit lighter bow. Check yourself between the bridge and the fingerboard, about halfway. High D and then C sharp. Low high D, high D. C sharp, C sharp. Now do high D and then B. High D all the way to B. Try that. Low, high D, high D, B, B. Go back to the D string and do two open Ds and two F sharps. D string to F sharp. Try that. D, D, F sharp. F sharp, now two Ds, two Gs. D, D, G, G. Go back to the A string and do high D, C sharp, high D, C sharp. Try that. High D, C sharp, high D, C sharp. Now do two open A's and two high Ds. right now okay and I want you to hear me play a lot you can try to mimic that sound that's the sound that you should be going for um, we're gonna do our D major scale which if you need to look at something in your book you can you can look at number 63 I believe or 64 um, but I don't know it's not exactly the same and I don't know that you need to probably the D major scale memorized if you've been playing it every day like you should you've got this memorized Remember, the D major scale starts with open D, goes, we're going to play two of every note, just like you've been doing, just now with the bow. Every note you get the high D, two high Ds, and come back down, okay? Play with me, D major scale, and right C, and go. D, D, E, F sharp, G. Get ready. 
Ready for that G? That shot? Okay, we're not doing the arpeggio just yet. We don't quite have the agility and with the bowing going on that just yet. And we don't know how to switch strings quite quickly enough yet, but we will do that in a couple of videos. So if you ended up uh, finishing before I did, you either went too fast, you didn't play with me or with the metronome, or you skipped a note, you could have forgotten to repeat the high D. Most people forget the open A on the way down. All right, so if you mess that up, try that again. Uh, that is something now you should be doing every day until we add that with the arpeggio, and then you should be doing scale and arpeggio every single day. Every day you need that scale. That's going to create good habits. It's going to get your hands stronger. You're going to get better at bowing straight. You're going to get better at staying in the right place between here and here. You're going to get a better bow hold because you're not thinking about notes as much as you are about position and sound. And that's the most important thing for you still at this moment.